Good morning, YouTube. It's AJ. We're on day six of vlogging. I got a new hoodie and I got new hair. Um, today I'm just going to talk because I don't want to edit it all. And um, I kind of just want to get this work out of the way. But I actually woke up at like 10. Wild, right? Wild. Um, I'm going to try to talk quickly because so, if I leave too many gaps I'm gonna force myself to go back and edit um so I just want to talk about uh something that's like full circle so yesterday was the anniversary of Martin Luther King's assassination right and um he was fighting for the rights of sanitation workers when he was assassinated he wasn't specifically assassinated for fighting for sanitation worker rights obviously he was assassinated for being Martin Luther King um because uh, regardless of what some history books would like to tell us, Martin Luther King was pretty left-leaning and like did not like centrists at all. And centrists are the ones who are like non-violence, but like non-violence to Martin Luther King was radical. And he organized radical action. Like action is, to take action is radical and like, he was also like the precursor to the Black Panthers and like I'm I'm just saying I'm just saying um he would not have been in the center today he would not have been in the center he would have criticized Obama publicly you know Malcolm X would have probably disavowed Obama completely uh Malcolm X disavowed JFK actually that was part of why he got kicked out of the nation of Islam is because he was like fuck that guy <laughs> I'm glad he's dead because he knew JFK was a colonizer, basically. Like, yeah, JFK signed the Voting Rights Act, but like, okay, thanks, I guess. But like, you, you, he still did a like the whole shit with Cuba, like that. That doesn't go away, you know. Um, Vietnam doesn't go away. Um, which Vietnam, f from my twelfth grade, which was actually a very expansive understanding of Vietnam was that that was more Lyndon B. Johnson's fault and Eisenhower. Where's my water? Oh. Fuck Eisenhower. When I go to hell, I'm gonna beat the shit out of that guy. That's a TikTok trend that's going around where it's like, you you say who you would like, what you would do when you get to hell. Um, and I posted one that was like me finding all the people who snitched on the slave revolts. Cause I got a book that talked about it and I was like, oh, Oh, I have names. I have exact names, dates, and locations to find the bitches who snitched on like massive, well-organized armed slave revolts that would have been successful to a large degree. Feels like it was already time travel, you know? Cause like somebody already fucked with it. So that's, that's interesting, you know? I'm just saying, I know who, who's on my hit list when I figure out how to time travel. Regardless, uh, I'm just thinking of the actions and the events that are taking place right now um, and how I was literally just looking at my trash can because squirrels have clawed through my trash can, which is just irritating as fuck um, because there's trash on our front lawn now and it's like, well, I just pick the trash up and I put it back in the trash can and then 20 fucking minutes later, the squirrels are shitting all over our lawn. <sighs> Whatever. It's fine. Like... It's not like we didn't build a society where the squirrels lived first, but like, just like, just go in the top of the trash can at least. Like, why did you have to, whatever. Our landlord got us a new trash can. I've talked about how my landlord is actually a real person and I will not let anybody guillotine him. Um, Cause he's a homie, but I still don't like landlords as a concept. Okay, but yeah, Martin Luther King, sanitation workers, current events um sanitation workers right now are, are asking for hazard pay they're part of this whole you know like a lot of workers are mobilizing a lot of people are you know going like uh you can't do this to us no more like you, you need us now you clearly need us and like i'm just saying like sanitation workers deserve hazard pay because if they're i mean they have a degree of protection but they don't have masks i don't think and like that probably varies from state to state but what i'm thinking about is just like how we make demands um 
Yeah, let me let me Google some headlines. Um, uh, sanitation. Pittsburgh garbage collector strike for protective equipment hazard pay amid coronavirus. So they went on strike for one day. Um, yeah, I'm just thinking about how much we need sanitation workers, how much they're essential. Like we would literally have trash piling up at our houses, which breeds disease. Like stuff like that is just dirty. Like it, it's always a problem when it happens. It happens in poor communities. Like. Whenever I say something like that, I'm like, is that a good way to frame it? I don't know. But it, the, the point is that, like, when there's trash, there's bacteria, there's broken bits of glass, there's needles, there's fucking olives, <laughs> like, rotting food, maggots. Like, if there's giant piles of trash, that's not healthy. Sanitation workers are essential to our community health but they are not prized as such in our society and people don't see them like that i see them like that you know and there's this one meme of this little boy who's like holding a, a garbage truck and like meeting the garbage truck guys and he's just straight up crying and it's really old it's from facebook and his name is quincy and he's just like with the garbage truck next to the garbage man because he loves garbage men and i'm just like that's how society should be that's how y'all should treat garbage workers like Maybe, I mean, I shouldn't say garbage workers, but like, it's kind of funny. If I were a sanitation worker, I would be like, I'm a garbage man. I sure am. I'm a gremlin garbage man. And I would very much like that term, but like, that's <laughs> because I'm a little grum. I'm a little gremlin boy. I'm just a little. <sighs> my computer has yet again notified me that my disc is full. I'm aware. I've made a YouTube video every day. I'm aware. Thank you. Thank you. This video is seven minutes long, so I can start to wrap it up. But just to say, like, Martin Luther King was fighting for the rights of sanitation workers 70 years ago. Like, 60 years ago. He would have been fighting for them now. That's where he was when he died. We should support the laborers of our communities, of our society. And when you start to say the laborers of the state, then then you lose me because I'm not trying to have a state. I'm trying to have a community. A state is like a hierarchy. A community is a circle, you know? A community, the way I see society, I think we should downsize. I think we should get rid of this big shit. This whole like big Amer America. What the fuck is America? I don't know. Some shit that some slave owners came up and then stole a bunch of land and killed a bunch of people. Like, I don't really fuck with it, you know? Like, I fuck with the people who live next door to me. I fuck with the people you grew up on the block with. Like, that's that's who you care about. And, like, a lot of people like being American. That's not... It's almost like a religion if you're like, I'm American. Like, yeah, I'm, it's my nationality, but I'm not... I'm not proud of it. There's nothing to take pride in under American because anything, any achievement that like has been achieved, like I can attribute to something else, you know? That, that will start a fight. I hope it starts a fight. I'm ready to take that fight. Um, but what I'm proud of, I'm proud of plenty of the achievements of like my people, like Jewish people, queer people, black people, them is my people. I'm proud of the shit they do. And like, oh, I guess like when black people consider it American, like I, whatever, it's a struggle to be a black American. Um, it's very unique and I think that if we just had like communities where we cared more about the people next to us and like made like had each like there's a community doctor there's a community trash picker upper there's a community farmer there's a community cook like each of these jobs are like obviously each one is essential and each one is treated the same because we acknowledge that they're all essential and then we get rid of jobs that are not essential like landlords and like real estate agent and like i mean we can it's like it's not, i don't feel the need to like abolish the idea of like stocks and corporations but like like that stuff just doesn't benefit people
it benefits person it benefits one person amazon is made to benefit like i mean it's probably like 200 people who are at the top of amazon who like just cash that shit who are benefiting reaping like department heads but does amazon really benefit you no not really yeah you get stuff from it that you need because it's cheaper it's not like you don't need the things on amazon but do you benefit from amazon maybe you do that's for you to decide i don't though except for the fact that my dad bought amazon stock in the 90s and now i can go to college so maybe i do benefit from amazon but not the way it's run right now. Not the way it's run right now. Okay, this video is 11 minutes, so I can cut that shit. Um, have a good day. Remember that the government doesn't care about you. It's your neighbors that care about you. I care about you, and I want you to have a good day. And I want you to like and subscribe. Peace.